This is the 2022 Acer Chromebook 314, an entry-level clamshell 14-inch Chromebook. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks, and in this video review, I'll take you through all you need to know about it and whether it's still worth considering in 2024. If you want to check out my unboxing and how I paid just £100 for this Chromebook, I'll link the video for you at the end of this one. One of the first things you'll notice about the 314 is it's relatively light for a 14-inch Chromebook at just over 1.38 kg, so a little over £3. There's an optional touchscreen though, which I don't have on this particular model, and I imagine that will add some extra weight. It's a full plastic build and looks good in this silver colour. Design touches like the rounded corners make it nicer to handle too. Oddly, something Acer changed in the newer 2023 model on the rear corners. You can see my review of that and the other generations of the Acer 314 in the playlist I've linked in the pinned comment of this video. There's no fans, so no vents on the bottom, just the four rubber feet. Port-wise, you've got a solid setup, dual USB-A and C, a headphone microphone combo jack, a micro SD card slot. There's no HDMI, but output as expected over USB-C via my dock worked well, running my two full HD monitors as extended displays, alongside the 314's display as a third. You've got Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1, so still fairly up to date there, and my PS4 controller connected first time. Performance seemed decent, absolutely fine for games like Real Racing 3 here. I think the spec I have here really helped in particular with the 8GB of RAM I have. Some Acer 314s only have 4GB of RAM so watch out for that and try and avoid it. I've got the Celeron N4500 in this one, I've used it in several other Chromebooks, but this was the first time with that pairing of 8GB of RAM. If possible though, do see if you can find the option with the Pentium Silver N6000 processor. Even with this Celeron, having a couple of users logged into this Chromebook, both with several tabs open and switching between them, it was really still smooth enough and didn't cause any frustration. I've got 128 gig of storage, but some models only have 64 gig. Whatever model spec you go for in this Acer Chromebook 314 generation, it'll get Chrome OS updates through to June 2031. The 14-inch Full HD IPS display has a matte finish, gets decently bright for indoor use. I could see some sites online claiming 250 nits, which I think is about what you'd expect here. As mentioned, there's also an optional touchscreen to look out for, but if you're looking for a touchscreen, you might want to consider the Spin 314. That's the convertible version of this Chromebook. And again, you can find my review of the Spin 314 from this generation in the playlist in the pinned comment. At the top of the screen you've got a standard 720p webcam that won't blow you away with its quality and there's no privacy slider on this one either. The screen on this Acer 314 does go back 180 degrees though which is still good to see so it can lie flat against the keyboard deck which itself has a nice setup. Well spaced keys with a medium to longer travel to them and I found I could be pretty accurate with this one quite easily. It's also got a large smooth feeling and responsive trackpad. Finding the speakers on the keyboard deck was also a welcome change from the previous generation. Again see that playlist in the pinned comment. The sound quality was good enough for an entry level Chromebook. I've been fairly impressed with battery life too. I think if you keep the screen brightness in check and were logged in with just one user doing some light browsing you probably could get close to Acer's claim of 10 hours. This Acer Chromebook 314 ticks a lot of boxes and delivers really well as a solid entry-level Chromebook, but in 2024 you need to at least compare it to the newer 2023 model. That video is on the left for you to watch next, or if you want to see how I pay just £100 for this, that's about US$137, that video is on the right. 